Hello guys and welcome to this video where I showcase how to use this 3D um, LED fan on the computer as a device on which you can send information, send videos, or as a device that is going to serve as a secondary screen, a wireless screen. This is the video for you. You need to watch this. First, make sure that your device has this kind of TF card because this is very important. This is where all the information is this is where the software for the computer is and that maybe you buy this one for yourself or maybe it is provided in the box mine was provided in the box so this is extremely important make sure that you have the tools that are needed for this the two tools that you need is this the dongle the tf card coming with the device that have all the information, the, the, the software and everything. So we plug it in our computer here. This is exactly what you're going to see if you plug it in your computer. You can already see that I have these in here. Those two, I have them in here. So this one, the Windows app version is the one you need. This is very important. And we are going to showcase how you use it and how to use it to send information right to from here to your computer. Your computer needs to have access to Wi-Fi. It needs to have a Wi-Fi receiver inside of it to be able to use this. This is extremely important. Since the device is going to emit its own Wi-Fi, and you need to connect to that Wi-Fi to be able to interact with it. So the first one, we are going to unzip this application. I already did it. This is here, that application we have here. So you click in it. This is the Chinese version. That's why it's not showing because my computer is fully English. But if you understand Chinese, okay, if you don't, this is the English version. They brought it with Windows app. You click in it, it's going to ask you how many inches you have. <laughs> it's going to ask you the length and the, the model of the thing you're using. Mine is a 42 centimeter. So I'm going to choose 42 here. Because look at the Chinese app in here, they actually write centimeter, but in English, they make it inches. So if you do not know how many centimeters that the device is, you can actually check here because they wrote it here, 42 centimeters. When you click on the 42, you have this page and it's, uh, it's going to tell you that it is trying to connect to, it's trying to connect to the net network of the device. This is the part that we need. We need to be able to decode videos. If you still don't know how to make videos for this device, you can click on the video on top there and it's going to take you to there how to make videos for this specific device. But if you don't know nothing, if you know nothing about this device, you can go back to that one here. That big video is going to take you through the whole device from the installation to every step to how to use it. And if you really want crystal clear display, you will go to my first video where I showcase that for the first time and I film the device from the screen of another device just to have it crystal clear, no blades whatsoever. Anyway, this is not important. Let's jump back in here. So you can decode the videos and I ask about this and they said, yes, decoding the video is just turning the video into a dot bin folder, a dot bin file. So we have the Mario Cube. We have a lot of videos here. And I want, let's say I want to decode this one. Okay. I'm going to take it, send it in and then say cube. And I'll make it colorful. And you see it's decoded, it's showing in here. Okay. This is how big the fan is. And this is where your device is going to move in, in inside the fan. Is that okay for you? If it is not, you can choose to do this where the, the fan the, 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 where the object is going to fly out of the fan. You can choose to do this if you're crazy enough. Okay. Anything you want, you can just move it around. That's your choice. You can set the range of the video to make this bigger and smaller. Whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, by setting the range like this, you can make it smaller. Okay. To be sure that your device is always at the center and beautiful looking at the center. This is, this is interesting. So after you're done choosing, playing around with the circle and how you want the device to be moving inside your fan, you are going to start decoding here. It's going to go into it. After you're done with that, you can see that there is a code that being in here. 
this is the folder you can put in the the fan now and use it now for people who are not willing to connect this thing to their wi-fi to this wi-fi to their computer and they are okay okay they are willing to always unplug that tf card and plug it in here to do all this mess they they will have to take this bin folder here okay take this bin folder open up the sd card and pull the bin folder right in here and you're done okay this your cube is on the thing now but instead of just moving let's create one more let's decode one more video i will choose this one and i will say face just to show you and i will choose colorful okay this is the range i'm going to make the range smaller so my head is always in the middle here Okay, this is the right one my head is in the middle here it's not going away and i'm going to start decoding and i'll have a bin folder hmm? what what okay so i have a bin folder now i and it creates an mp3 folder too but you don't need that one i have a bin folder because you can see in here that only bin folders are being put inside the device we put the face in here and we will move to our device let's go so now that we are back at the device we're going to take these things away and reinstall our fan back on the table Ooh. now the device is back on oh you can see that right this is this is the video i made and it's already in a bin folder and it's working and this is my face so it is possible to create stuff like that okay and let's talk about the requirement of having this work on your pc first you need to have a dongle to use for the tf card two your device needs to have a tf card or you need to find a way to get your hand on the software that connects to the your device now, if you already have both of those, all you will need then after that is to turn on the device with the TF card inside to be sure that the device is going to read the files for the Wi-Fi and emit the Wi-Fi to your computer. If your, your computer does not have Wi-Fi, it does not have any Wi-Fi receiver, you need to buy one and install it in to be able to use the device. This is very simple. Now let's jump back to the computer. This part is going to be focused on how to use this device connected right to your computer, how to send videos right from your computer on the device wirelessly without having to pull that, that, that TF card out and then going back to your computer. So first thing you need is going to be to pull the TF card out from, out from here because there are softwares on the TF card here. Oh my God that you need and after that you will need this one too so the tf card and the dongle after you have those you need to plug the tf card inside the dongle and move to not your primary computer but the secondary computer here so after you move there you will see the folder opening here and showing you what you have on it all you need to do is to move this one and that one here I'm going to explain in a while what they do. I already have them in here. After you're done copying those two folders on your desktop, what you want to do is turn this off, the key out, back inside the device, the, SD, the TF card, and you go to your computer. Before you go back to your device, you need to turn on the fan here so it will start displaying stuff so you know that the TF card is in it. On the TF card, there is a lot of files that need to be in the device for the device to create a Wi-Fi that your computer can connect to. I'm going to switch to OBS. I extracted the whole folder, those two folders into here, the 42 centimeters and the videos, the Windows version of the software. So from there, you can open the folder, go in, click on the Windows app, and this is going to appear. Once you have this, you need to click on yours, how many centimeters you have, and you are going to have this page. 
Now, now that this page is here, I'm going to reduce the video, the, the size of the screen a little bit just to be able to showcase what I want to show here. Now that you have this one, what you want to do is that you need to connect to the Wi-Fi very easy. You need to go inside here, Wi-Fi. Here you will see the 3D what, 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 what. This is exactly what you need. It is emitting this internet. I connected to it before, but it's going to take what? Up to one to two minutes to connect to your computer. You just click on it and you say connect. It's going to take some time. Let it be. It doesn't have internet. When you are connecting to this one, if your major internet connection is wireless and you do not have wired connection available on your computer, you, you, you can't use internet. But if you have wired connection available, you see now that it is connected to Wi-Fi. I just plug in my wired connection and it's showing right away. Okay. So with that, you can actually, if you have two internet on your computer, this is a good okay, option. Okay. If you don't, this is going to be bad. But if you do, you can connect the wire to the internet and the wireless to that device and use them simultaneously. After you're done with that one, you need to go back up. You go back up and you will see that after you got connected, the device connects automatically to this software. This is important. This device is going to get connected to the software that you have on your computer. And from here, you can, I, I will record this with my phone. Now that the device is connected to your, your computer, you from, from, from there, you can just turn it off. You see, I can, I can turn off the whole thing here. Off. I can turn it on. I can do a lot of things. Everything you hear in here, you see next one. I can do next one. Next one. Well, every time I, I do the next one, you will see the, the thing is going to zap up. It's going to zap, it's going to zap away, zap away up until it goes to the next one. Now with this, you can send videos right away from here to the device, to the TF card that is in the device by uploading these videos from your file here. This is up to you. This is very easy. You just, if you don't know how to create videos, please be sure to watch that video up there to know how to create videos for this specific uh, device. And if you already have videos that you want to use, it's still in there. You just need to go up there and watch it. Now, if you, after you're done with your videos and you have the bin for the bin file of your video, you can just upload it through here and then send it inside the device. It's going to wirelessly move inside the TF card of the device and it will appear in your list. So easy peasy. You want to delete stuff right from here. You can delete stuff. You see, I just deleted my face and my face won't appear on the thing anymore. It's gone. Okay, so this is what you can do. You can actually choose, you can actually set the power on display time. So when you want to power on the display, maybe in the morning at seven o'clock, it will turn on. You just need to create something and apply. There's a lot of things that you can do, but you need to connect to the device first. And it's very simple. You need Wi-Fi. If you do not have Wi-Fi, you cannot connect to the device. Wi-Fi dongles are extremely cheap. You can get one for at at cheap as cheap as one or two dollars buy one plug it in your computer and then you can connect your computer to that one now let's see if i can still go on internet so now let's see if i can still go on internet let's go for youtube and you guys can see that youtube is already loading why because windows has this thing this specific thing where he wants you he will prioritize the wired internet over the wireless one. So the wireless one is kind of useless unless you want to create, connect a wireless comp a display or a wireless 3D LED, <laughs> 3D LED fan. This is what the, <laughs> the wireless is made for. You cannot use two computers at the same, the two internet at the same time. Windows is not going to allow that, but you can you take advantage of that by a very small, cheap, wireless dongle that you're going to use for this kind of device. Now that we are done with this one, all the, the, the stuff in here is very simple. The list loop, the next one, the disconnect and the reconnect, all of this is really simple. You can change the Wi-Fi configuration by changing the name of the Wi-Fi, give it a password so that nobody can access, access your Wi-Fi. This is important. You can do a lot of things. You, If you have this specific 
uh, uh, version of the device. You have this. You can see what you can do. I don't want to share too much about it because it's not really important. What was important, I talked about it. You guys can go and check that. Now, after that, I want to talk about the other software. There is another software in here that is the 42 one. This one here. This piece of software, what does it do? At first, I thought this piece of software, no, I'm not going to use the Chinese version. I thought this piece of soft software, when you open it up, this is what will come on your screen. So at first, I thought this piece of software was to, what used to wirelessly connect your device so you can be showing some anime, right? Stream some anime right to the 3D LED fan, but it's not working that way. The, thing that this does is that it calculates how many devices you have and expands your bin folder, meaning your image or anything you want to, to project on the 3D holographic fan. He cuts it into small pieces and make a giant image. So let's say you have Apex Legend, for instance, okay? You are a streamer and you want to have Octane in your back and every time you get knocked down you want octane to be in your back and start laughing at you you can create that with this you have you need maybe what you need to make it as tall as you want okay let's say you have uh, six devices and you say how many of them are in the horizontal di direction you say four what is wrong with this i think you need to, to use the same number of devices but you guys already understand what I mean, right? So, two, you will have a two by one screen. And the screen is going to appear this way. So you can upload your video. You can decode the video. From here, you decode the video you want and upload this video inside the software. After it's done, the video is going to become a bin video that you can use right away on your device. It's going to be usable. Now, taking 4x3, you can use 4x3. Now, I don't have much information about this one because I did not try it. I did not test this one and I'm not planning to because my I, I still use a double PC setup for my stream and it's not working. The internet is kind of slow to go on YouTube and Twitch. So I'm not going to spend that amount of money just to have something standing at the back that I've never used. But if you guys want to take advantage of that, this is perf perfectly fine. Make sure to turn on the device before you start looking for its Wi-Fi here. And I think we covered everything. And this is the end of this video. If the information in the video was useful to you, I am glad that it was. And if it was not as clear as you wanted, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to come back to you as fast as i can thank you guys for watching this video be sure to like subscribe and share this content to more people who need this kind of information until the next video stay fresh